Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Drive with me, Get Dave. So the last time we were having a fairly inefficient war against the Vulfin Imperium. Um, <laughs> so that is what it's worth. Uh, or that is what it is for what it's worth. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm barely invading these guys properly. But we took a couple other planets and uh, I'm going to continue pursuing that but a bit more on this front and while we're at it okay so we took out an outlier gonna launch all of these guys and they're gonna move on to the next target now the first one wasn't very difficult at all. We kept almost everybody. But I will be interested to see if that continues on, if that trend continues. Yeah, I'd say these guys are screwed. Oh, they're trying for it. Did not happen this time. Troops, land all, and start placing your bets, everybody. I'm betting on 15 seconds. Go. Well, I was wrong. But I'll take it. Yeah, they're going to be doing their thing for a while. Have to build their biospheres. And you know, honestly, it's fine with me if they're just on autopilot, because these colonies don't mean that much to me in the grand scheme of things. I intend to do Blitzkrieg. Or Lightning War, as I call it. Actually, you know, I don't think I need more Hitler comparisons. Okay. The Ratzeal system. I've never actually known exactly how to say that. To the Bad Angel system. <clears throat> also, we did research battleships. So, someone put up a pretty good comment in the comment section suggesting I design a fighter with no FTL system, just really optimized for being paired with a carrier. And I think that's a fantastic idea. All right, let's try doing this. Tank your damage, Galactica. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. This is a decent colony. Still a bit, ah, well it's had some development anyway. That's perhaps the best way of expressing it. Oh, that's fine. Seeing as their fleet is still Earth, they still have control within the system. Oh, get them, boys. I think we're going to get an exponential tapering of our effectiveness there. 
As our ships slowly start getting picked off, or pardon me, our invasion force slowly starts getting picked off, the effectiveness is going to drop off rapidly. So I do have some concerns for our long-term viability of this strategy, but, well, I'm going to keep going for it. Although seriously, topping up my forces could really go a long way, and the sooner I do it, the better. <laughs> I know we didn't get a great view of that, but that was still pretty cool. Begin landing your troops. Boom! Missile launcher's gone. Now I've severely muted the game audio. I'm still not sure how... how I come in over the explosions and everything, but I don't know. Seriously, I've cranked it way down. Okay, invasion's done. Next. Actually, it looks like I should hang in here a little bit longer. And I may need a bit of a... Uh... Oh, very nice. I may need a bit more of a force to stay behind there. That's what it's looking like, at least. Also, let's okay. Let's spend a little time doing something else. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to try. You can sort of do these federation-like things. I thought you liked me. Okay. Well, no, no, you'll just have to wait your turn. I'm upset about uh, recent happenings. Ooh, the Doom Fleet. We're going to need some backup here. All right, uh, everybody land. Yeah, I'm going to need everyone there, I think, just to be sure. The Volfin Imperium has a uh, pack mentality as well, which is going to make them very ferocious grouped up like this. And the Fourth Fleet, quite frankly, is not that big. Go, mighty Galactica! We're getting all of these powerful sounding techs. Legendary sword here. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we killed all of them. Well, second fleet can join up. And in the meantime, first fleet, how would you like to continuously destroy that uh, phase projector? Huh. Well, now this is kind of awkward. I guess my ships are better than theirs. And speaking of which, let's do that little fighter idea I, I was, well, given. Plasma ordnance, yeah, I don't know. Battle razor, raiders are like uh, corvette-sized fighters you can launch, I believe. I kind of feel like that's not exactly faithful to the idea of a carrier, but whatever. It's a carrier that carries corvettes. Oh my goodness. That thing is huge. It will take me my entire life to design this ship. Let's try, you know what, let's start with the fighter. There we go. Now that's accessible. Now, under the engine, recall we have these small combat thrusters. They don't have any FTLs, but they do give really superior maneuverability to a ship. And... Okay, now basically the entire ship has power. One little square doesn't, but I'm not going to get too upset over that. We do have room for some pretty nasty beams on here. Oh my goodness, that would be so awesome. It still has positive power recharge too. Now, we may still need it to be able to have a bit more going on in terms of power uh, capacity. Oh man, it's going to be a pretty badass little ship. I, I don't even know how effective this thing will be, but I mean, a thousand hit points worth of shielding, that's nothing too bad. Command, put a little cockpit on it, power recharge is still bad. It will never be at warp, so we don't need to worry about that. And then put a small fuel cell, and that should cover sustained firing there. Now the question is just, do we want to have a beam turret there? light phaser array. I believe that's superior in every way. Fusion beam's cheaper. Phaser array is much better. It's much redder. Siphon beam I think is more for other vessels. Fast moving ships. Okay. The other option is this could be sort of a support ship, but uh, with this turn rate, oh, this little thing will be deadly. All right, um, legendary dagger. All right, we're laughing. <laughs> this is great. And now about that carrier. I feel kind of like I will have to do a fair amount of designing this thing off camera. So you know what, I'm just going to pause the recording, because, uh, oh, where to begin? Yeah, I'll be right back and we'll see where this takes us. Alright, we're back everybody, and I'm just polishing up this thing. It is primarily a fighter carrier, as you can see. 
and uh, <laughs> well, yeah, there were a couple other things that I just wanted to experiment with, like the massive cannon. I mean, how do you say no to that? Um, you know, and this thing's kind of got it all. It's got an ordnance uh, manufacturing and repair drone launcher and lots of shields. I put on a couple class threes to buffer or to help protect a couple areas that I thought were important on the ship. Double up protection on some of those antimatter reactors. Because apparently if they blow up, it's kind of bad. Can't imagine why. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with all these other little squares. I guess just drop bulkheads on them, because we can't even put, like, our nice new armor. I guess I could put ordnance capacity and things like that as well. And I'm just going to turn the arcs off now, because it's kind of getting to the point where it's hard to see the ship. Uh, all those bulkheads to improve, you know, explosions, you know, the damage from explosions traveling throughout the ship. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do what I believe to be a prudent thing that I haven't done previously. And that's will completely isolate these shield generators from the antimatter reactors. And I don't know. Looks like it'll be hard to kill anyway, and those fighters at launches should be quite deadly. Um, it's got a lot of forward-facing guns. It can't turn to save its right its life, but it does have things like tractor beams and all that to help itself out. And um, as I understand it, if it does face something, it there will be a reckoning. I mean, it can throw plasma, it can EMP it, it can launch these EMP torpedoes. It's got marines, so it's tough to take over. It's got a bazillion and one missile launchers. A um, whole bunch of just little tiny guns to protect it. Yeah, I think we should be okay. And I just want to correct one tiny little mistake. I threw another tractor beam on there. And that's actually not what I want, because I've got the tractor beams front and center. Um, I do have a heavy, heavy siphon beam. I don't know, a heavy tractor beam. I thought I dropped a heavy siphon beam on here, but I do... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the heavy siphon beam. So the idea is, up front we tractor it, and then uh, we leech their enemy, the shields dry. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this thing works. I believe it's a legal design. And what to name it? Oh. What to name it? It's a super big carrier. Well, I could name it Super Big Carrier. But that sucks. I don't know. Let's just throw down a class. We'll leave it the Orion after Master of Orion. Yeah. Overwrite that punk. Now, someone has to build it. We'll sort by production. Really? Look, everybody, they finally got uh, developed. I never thought I'd see this day. And fire several shots from the ion cannon to give people a coverage while they escape Hoth. And where's the big guy? Ho oh, ho ho! It's expensive. I love it. Oh, and they have no. Oh, troop carrying ships. That's interesting that we can just manufacture those. Uh, I would hate it if this colony fell into enemy hands, so we're just going to pad it out a little bit. And then, yeah, they'll get going on the Orion. Alright, now, where were we? Meow, where were we? It's amazing how... <laughs> I guess the other ships don't really become obsolete, but... Uh, I mean, we've got a pretty... 
pretty badass new character uh, carrier to replace the Galactica, that's for sure. All right, everybody's here in the fourth fleet. You guys are the new second fleet. Plasma ordinance. The Orion is already obsolete. Okay, just one sword bear, that's fine. Oh, they'll be working oh, they'll be working on that for like the entire game. At least build some more biospheres. That'll give them a bit of a boost to their productivity. By allowing them to import a few more. Uh, import a few more. Dang it. This game. Import a few more colonists. There we go. Why you gotta filibuster me like that game? Alright, second fleet in theory was making the jump to light speed. I really was second fleet, there we go. Probably waiting to recall some fighters. And the third fleet we will let sit around for just a little bit. Gotta let these guys absorb the nukes. What? Well, I am negligent. I wonder how long that's been going on. No shame in running now. Alright, looks like we've got research for a little while. I'm, of course, very concerned with the details. Pegasus struggles with warp a little bit. I believe I knew that. Land them all. Oh, this is going to be easy. A, everyone landed, which is good, because it looked to me for a minute like I had taken some pretty considerable losses. Alright. Just normal losses. Uh, importing food, great. Can they even meet their food needs? Barely. Oh, well, I suppose it's important for us not to starve everybody. Um, yeah, you know, the deep core mine's not going to make that much of a meaningful difference, so we'll worry about other stuff at this place. You can become a research colony someday. Continue mopping up. Release the hounds. And they're probably all going to be getting the crap missiled out of them right now. I really should make better point defense for my ships. I'm not going to. No, you guys stay orbiting there. I don't care. Oh, jeez. Everybody. 
game has a way of occasionally upsetting me. All right. There we go. Now that one came unusually easy. Uh, you know, I'm fine with them going autopilot here. Oh, they just need a ton of biospheres anyway. Next. And it probably would be good if I, uh, Type X railer. If I was a bit more careful about um, setting up my uh, projector network as well. Let's see if we can try that. Subspace. Oh no. Subspace projector. Shift click. Okay, this is what people are talking about. Nice and straight looking. That's what they say about me. Well, we'll let them do their thing. I think it is a little bit of glitch of uh, an AI glitch that they always are constantly going back to try. There we go. To try redeveloping their routes to planets they no longer own. Maybe that's their idea of getting back on the offensive and planning ahead. But oh, hurry, everybody! I think they got it. There we are. I kind of don't like that they will jump like crazy out of the system, though. And I guess this means the planet is shielded? Not that that's going to make a huge plan, or a huge difference. Planet? There we go. It's getting a little worried there for a minute. I didn't get the memo that they joined up. All right. Take a look, industrial, fine by me. Everybody launch. I accidentally clicked the Xeno mine every single time. Give yourself 10 get day points. everybody. Oh, I love to see that. Those missile defenses would be a lot better in this game as well if we had uh, in-system FTL jumping turned off. The shield is down! Oh, they're not happy about that. Really? Why, oh why would they surrender to their arch enemies now? This is thoroughly inconvenient though. Oh wait, did they have anything left? I guess, the map is stained red. Well, Let's finish off here at the least.
Volfar grunt rebasing to the glory system. Oh, they're up to no good. All right, this is tricky. I kind of, well, whatever. I'm sure I'll remember to deal with this next time. Um, <laughs> who knows? Let's see what happens. Next time on Let's Play Star Drive. See you there, everybody.